Oh, all right, there we go. Oh, of course, I immediately forget to put on the microphone as I get exasperated. Okay, cool. Can't believe I broke like four things trying to get this setup done. Uh, I'm Mutgrim, and I'm for Dad's old chat when we're doing battle tech minis while these are not in frame. Also, forgot to turn off modern for my own voice. Ow. Uh, not like I've done this dozens of times or anything.
that should be better. Okay. I didn't mean to do it that way. Just kind of how it happened. Also, my camera's acting weird. I dropped my other camera. Um, just had it right off the stand there. Um, and this is a new setup for me for painting. I've never painted in front of a camera or done anything. So, uh, excuse me while I make some more noise trying to get this cord out of the way. Mmm, delicious springs. Alright. So, I got a bunch of stuff uh, in frame and out of frame. Uh, like the box of paint and stuff like that you see to your... Well, you don't see, but there's a lot here. Um, bunch of Battletech minis. Some of them I'm still figuring out exactly what and how to do with stuff, which is fine. And then I have a... Like, uh, ba baby's first wet palette. Um, not that I plan on particularly keeping any minis or anything like that in any specific way, but... Oh my jeez, I forgot one thing already. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, let's organize a little bit. So, I'm going to get some of these primed today. Probably a fair amount. Yeah, some. Um, and the rest I'll remember to prime later. Just to make sure everything's in frame. Cool. Um, one of the things, I want to rebase this. The legs for this, uh, awesome. Uh, to be a clear base. Because those look cool. Especially in a game that, uh, looking at the map's kind of important. Um, I have Hunchback. I have some other mechs to put together, some tanks, some helicopters. Um, do I have everything for this? Oh, I did just grab the closest paper towel, which did have a smack on it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Some of the parts do need more work, or need me to do other things for it. What the heck is this? What part is this? What part of the mech is this? Let's cut this off. Oh, I see what it was. It's part of a support that was built into a Vindicator. Yeet. Not all of them are winners. Get this stuff out of the way. All right, so. Um, first thing first. Ooh, is this one already kind of good? Um, is I also bought... Well, where, and where did I put them? That's the other question. Are they in my pocket still? Yes. Yes, they are. You can tell how organized I was with this. Also, thirsty. Also, magnets. And everything that sticks to magnets. Um, as you can see with this one, its torso is magneted. Because um, the game has mechanics for torso twisting. And it kind of helps me keep in the headspace of things. Convenient. It's kind of a fun little niche. So, I'm going to try to do that. I should have figured out a way to slice the hunchback um, for this, but that's too late. Um, we do have our handy dandy razor saw, um, which we would need anyway to deal with the base here. And got two tanks, got the scout salvage truck, got all the resources here. And then this is a Shu Wang, I believe. Um, these are all 3D printed, and this gets put as either a Shu Wang or a um, Emperor. And I don't think I like the way the anti-aliasing anti came out on the body. I feel like I should have kept all the sharp edges. Looks a little muted. Um, you know, and if it looks a little derpy, that's fine. That's what uh, three tests are for. Um, but everything else looks fine. But honestly, this will probably at best get primed today. I don't think this will be anywhere close to completion. Also, I do want to get the old slice and dice. Oh, this is going to be a hard one to slice and dice. Just get a thing that lets me slice files. I'll think about that later. So, uh, let me do my thoughts first. I have so many things. Um, first things you could probably do, and this is probably easy to start off with, is just by sawing this, this, this guy's things off of his feet. And uh, with any luck, I won't cut into my nail, as I have sometimes been known to do. And so I'm just going right up against the base and the saw is a push saw, so it cuts on the push stroke. And yay. And I'm kind of going like at a downward angle just to cut more into the base. Oh, I scratched up the feet immediately. That's okay. Uh, I should have done this before I painted it. But it's not like it's a complicated paint scheme. It's just green. So. 
and yeah, it's going to sound terrible. And it's going to feel a little terrible. That's fine. Do it just as long as you keep it smooth and don't cut in your hand. Like, this thing isn't super sharp, but it's surprisingly sharp. Especially the corner. It's like, what it will get into. The, the downside about these saws, at least, how I've used them in the past, is they don't um, clear um, waste very well. So every couple bites, yeah, I kind of got to stop and blow out um, any accumulated, like, plastic dust or anything. Um, it should be. Give me one sec. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. I know when I was testing it, I was blowing out uh, my headphones and stuff, but hopefully that's not the worst. Uh, and yeah, play. Got stuck there, so we're just going to keep going, toe the line, and try not to cut our hands. That just slide, and that tells me that there's just gunk in there. No, it's okay. Would have been much smarter if I had done this with before painting them, but it's what your first minis are for, right? To mess up on. Um, and it, in a way, it is kind of nice not to have to worry about clear bases when you're first painting a mini, especially when you're getting into something new, because like having to cut a mini, put a new base on it, and then paint it without getting your base, um, like, uh, painted. Um, it'd be a big task, especially if you're brand new to miniatures and modeling. So, while this is kind of gross, as long as your paint scheme isn't too wild, any little touch-up should be pretty easy to fix. I also try not to bang the camera too much. And the favorite part of this is I meant to prime minis earlier, but uh, I was lazy and hungry. So I get the basement prime them, which is a lot of holding my breath. So as long as I get stuff in place beforehand, it should be fine. Because uh, don't follow my example. Don't uh, don't prime inside. It's, it's stupid. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of a bow here, which is fine. We're, not, we're never going to get a perfect line, but... Like, uh, I don't know how well it shows up exactly. My lighting's a little bit weird. I tried to get a ring light in behind it, but I could only get it to do the side because this is not a great setup for it. But um, the line is bowing beneath the foot. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But that's what, I mean, at least they're cheap, right? Like, they're not like the, uh, uh, display bases, right? Like, those would have been hell. Uh, especially as a starter, because you think these are so cool, and then you ruin them, and it's like, oh, that was like $7 for that base. These are at least, like, you know, 40 cents each. You could probably even do it relatively cheap if you just got polycarbonate yourself, but that's, that's effort and time, and time is money. And... I really don't want to saw into my hand. I think I sawed into my hand last time. I think that's why I'm thinking about this so much. Probably didn't do too much, because I feel like if it did a lot, I'd remember exactly if I did. I think I sawed into my nail. Like, into my thumbnail. So that one's pretty close. And uh, these are totally uneven, so I'm going to get some sandpaper and run it to make sure it's flat on the bottom. Saw, 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 saw. I 
Am I past the foot? Yes, I am past the foot. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just gotta detach it. Yeah, also with some of the ba default basing, um, it could be hard to figure out where Mech is originally pointing. So like on this one, I, uh, light focus, um, put some X's on there to indicate the front, but when you rebase it, you can pose it in a way that makes sense. I'm like, I think in the base kit, the Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk or Wolverine. Ah, there we go. Right into my hand. I'm fine though. See, I knew I would do that. I always do that. Just a little bit. Didn't even, not even bleeding. Looks like a paper cut. Annoying. I knew I'd cut myself. And... <laughs> eh. I actually have it on a previous stream. Oh, where is it? Here it is. This was, I think, three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? I was uh, using a chisel to get around a corner. And... I just cut myself immediately, just like on stream. And it was, that one bled a fair amount because this side dug in, but that was fine. It wasn't too bad. It was a chisel that always cuts me. This is, this isn't even bleeding really. This is, this, this hardly counts. Oh my God, I, when I used to do miniatures with Dark Eldar, uh, I would get cut all the time. And those minis are sharp. And the only kind of cutting thing I had was razor blades. So I always was cutting my fingers. That's actually what this is from. Uh. <laughs> uh, this was, I was trying to cut I, maybe even a base off of a mini. This, that might have been what this was. But I was going and I was stressing and I, was, I eventually gave way and then my hand turned and then it turned right into the knuckle there. And that was pretty deep. I probably should have gotten stitches, but that's fine. Sometimes you just earn a wound. <laughs> On the real, I get cut all the time, man. It just happens. Like when I even when I go out gardening, I'll just come back and be and just wonder why I have like just blood on me. It was just you know, maybe I was digging and I touched a rock and it scratched my knuckle or something. I'll tell you what, I would not be able to cut like this onto the vindicator. That vindicator's legs are so fragile. I already had to glue them together back together once. At least these these minis are. There we go. Perfect. So I don't. Oh, I do know how they did it. So, um. To keep these miniatures um, like onto their bases, like pretty much through all of time, um, they're actually made as two pieces, sort of. The base actually has pegs that go into the feet of these, um, so it stays in place as opposed to just sitting on the top. Wow, that's a lot of dust. Um, I'll deal with that later. Um, so we're, when we put these on the flat base, on the uh, clear base, we'll do a similar thing, probably with a thinner peg. Um, that's why I kept this here, because it'll probably end up being a paper clip, because paper clips are reliable. And they're metal. Alright, so now I have to A, find something. Oh, did I get dust in my cut? Yeah, I did. That's stupid. Um, got a flat surface. I'm looking for if I have anything glass down here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. All right. Um, eh. I'll try something. It should be fine. It should probably be fine. It doesn't need to be perfect anyway because we'll be pinning it. That was heavy. I got just 150 grit sandpaper here. Actually, I'm going to use this 220, but I still have a table here. 
And I think the flattest height is best is here. I think that spot. So I'm just going to take this, hold it flat, and just. Oh, I just blew like all those pieces. Just gonna swirl it until I get flat, flat feet. Gonna give it a little, a little lick, just to help with dust clearance. Still a little bit bowed, but. Pretty close, pretty close. Um, let me just get paper up a lick, and then we'll just do a little bit more. I don't like that sound. Oh, I tasted it. Oh, oh it's plastic dust. Microplastic is going to live in me forever now. Okay, but that is pretty flat. And the smart thing to do would have been to uh, actually bring down a clear base, but instead I'm bullheaded and just forgot. Um, I think the reason I forgot was to give me time, sorry, I actually started bleeding a little bit, uh, was to give me time to uh, Uh, prime some things and figure out what I want to prime. So uh, I'll probably be mostly vehicles because, like, I do, I do want to cut this, but this is going to be a hard one to cut, I think. So I really, just want to cut it like right across here. Oh, hmm, hmm, that might be the angle. Yeah, I'm using lychee, and it doesn't let you slice stuff for free, so. Eventually, I'll just buy a subscription. It's not like it's an expensive subscription. It's like two bucks a month or something. It's actually like my first time cutting resin with this saw. It feels crunchy. Like, yeah, like it's making super fine powder, like even finer than the plastic from the other models. Weird to say it like that because resin is plastic, but all right. So I'm getting a little bit of off target. This is what I was worried about. I'm cutting into the into the torso and not the not the hip joint. But it's like impossible to avoid. All right, am I hitting anything else? Let me see if I'm hitting anything else important. And while I'm just skating this here. So that's also the nature of resin. Like, if I can just get this lined up, like, pretty enough, I might just be able to give it some score lines and just snap it. If you followed it, yeah, you went to that same curve. That makes sense. Um, well, it's not like I can really stop now. I've already kind of started at this. mutilation all right all right well take it from the top cut into those that's not what i want it yeah i guess it is just this way all the way i'll just try to flex it out as i go and not cut my finger as i burst to the other side You think I'd have like a safer way to do this? Oh, I see. It's because my cut is pretty even. Huh. Oh well. That's what I got. No, let me not cut towards my hand. Haven't we learned our lesson? No.
I mean, it's okay. This is... <laughs> so still just a, I guess, good way to demonstrate pinning, even if it will twist in a weird way. You know what? This is fine. This is totally fine, because if this cut happens the way I think it does, from the front, it won't look weird. It'll just look weird if you see it turn from the side or the back. What was that? What was that? That's where something just fell. Oh well, it's gone forever now. All right, so now we got the two halves. This dumb little skirt there, and then it. Oh, it fractured. Okay, that's what I thought would happen, but I wish it just wasn't a fracture. Ugh. Now I'm in a predicament, because that fracture makes it so I can't actually twist it. Off balance. So I have to grind both of these down. Grind this down. This part here. Um, I have a file. Right. I should have one. There we go. We're just going to try to keep the front profile. Because the front profile, you don't realize how jacked up it is. I also meant to give myself more time so I could be 3D printing a, a mini as I was doing this. But uh, time uh, did not add up for me. And I'm going to have to flatten this out so I don't want to go too hard. Oh. Immediately went too hard. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Looks here. Yeah, I gotta flatten this part out here. A lot of miniatures. <laughs> A lot of miniatures. It, excuse me. It's just... um. Messing up and finding ways to fix it. That's a lot of crafting things in general. Just making mistakes and finding ways to hide them that aren't visually detracting. Like, if I do this right, it shouldn't be super apparent. I kind of just want to cut this part off. I don't think it's helping. Actually, I think I'll have to turn this down. Actually, yeah. There we go. That light's better. That'll work. Focus. Thank you. Boop, boop. Okay, so what am I dealing with? So just up here. I can't wait to make a compilation of me hurting myself while I stream. trying I just I'm trying not to hurt myself rather sorry mm, dust close close this is pretty flat if I just want to get it a little bit better now it's all just about making a good mating surface um This is probably fine. Alright, so, don't fall in the hole, please. There's like one hole, and it's right in the middle. I'm going to plan that through good. Alright, so. I have a pin vise. And a bunch of magnets. 
So I'm looking for the smallest magnets that I have. Dimension wise, like 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 width wise. Because they don't need to be super powerful or strong. Those are I meant to keep a miniature together. And what is good? What's what's that course here? What's this feel? Oh, it feels too thin. Um Yeah, how about two of these? So whenever I do magnets, I just keep them in a stack. Um, and then I just break off two. And what, what, where can I put these? Will these stick to anything where I can get them? Will you stick to this effectively? No, you're aluminum. Um, will you stick to this lid? Yes, okay. And just looking for my drill biddies. I have a bunch of hex bits, which are great for, like, woodworking, but, like, don't fit here. Um, I also want to have to get up and move. Everything set up for, like, right here. Where did I put those other drill bits? Um... Well, I'm going to go look and find them real fast. And now we have to try to match the diameter to a drill bit, which is the other hard part. So like, let's do, I'm just putting the drill bit behind the, or the magnets behind the drill bit to see if they sync up. I think it's probably the five. I'm also missing a lot of small ones from this because I've probably done this many, many times. Ooh. Is it the one eighth bit? Are these one eighths? Yeah, they look like the one eighths. Sorry, uh, that's bothersome because uh, this does not want to take one eighth inch bits, like at all, as you see. So. We well, take seven sixty fourths. Did it just like jam you in there? No. Yeah, they're like the perfect size. All right. Well, I guess I'm doing this by hand. In something that isn't sketchy at all. I swear I had the center punch, like, right behind me. I am a liar. Where the heck did my center punch go? Oh, alright, so, we're just gonna... guess just mark our center with an exacto knife and just do it by eye. Just be in rogue here. And try not to absolutely jam this into my hand. If I, if I jam another sharp thing into my hand, I'm done today. That's that. I'm just going to go hell dive and just get my ass beat there. Alright, so. Doing this by hand sucks. Um, I need to go get a different... I could have sworn I was using one that did this pretty well, but... I just want to try to chuck this in a drill. But I feel like if I do, I will immediately ruin this. Um. Alright, well. 
Figure out the start of the hole. Where did I put those magnets? Oh no. That's what happens with little magnets whenever you use them. Some they immediately go missing. Alright, well. Maybe they're somewhere. Close. Alrighty. Hang on. Oh, yeah, cut my fingers. Real cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. Drill bit. Weird sharp flutes. See, I'm also hesitant to do it, chuck it in a drill, because my hand is right here. And I think that's bad if I just jam this into my hand. I'm not sure I can't stretch this guy up. You know what? Let me call it a smaller bit. And then... I just gotta go buy a new drill bit kit. They're not even expensive. Um, I'll start small and then I'll um, work my way up. Man, it's been like 30 minutes already? Dang, son. 45 minutes already? Dang, son. Alright, you're good. Alright. This is how a pin vice should work. Oh, it feels so much nicer when I'm not just absolutely destroying my fingers. This stuff's pretty strong. It might just be, like, the composition of how it, like, when you do this with plastic, it wants to ribbon. Oh! I can't believe I just disassembled that. Ow. How did I disassemble that? Um, because, uh, I could probably show it on the feet here a little bit. Um, the plastic that they use in regular minis wants to, um, come off together. Like, it wants to be pulled up like, uh, what do you call that? Like, pasta, kind of. Maybe not just ABS plastic, but, um, in general, it wants to form ribbons and kind of come away. Where... This, as soon as it's colliding with the with the cutting head of the drill there, uh, it, it just turns to actual dust. And let me, uh, what's bothering me now? Um, can I lubricate this from the inside? Yes, okay. So I'm gonna throw a drop of three and one oil in there. So limit that squeaking. Oh, it's more than a drop. Even when we're not doing woodworking, we end up covered in oil. Alright. I just try not to stress the arms too much when I'm doing this, because I'm putting a fair amount of force. I guess, so once again, that's why I'm kind of hesitant to use any power drills. In case you know I go through in my hand. I don't want to go to the ER late at night. So, as I suspected, the next size drill bit up is the correct one. Let me just get this plastic crack off me. And drill a little bit more. And then at least we'll have a good hole to work from when we switch up to the next size bit. Alrighty. Now we go to the next size. Give it a little spit there just to give it something to take away. Am 
um, the powder there. And I'll just Oh god, that doesn't feel good on my fingers. Um I kinda wanna just turn the miniature. Turn the mini. Oh. Turn the mini. Just trusting that the hole that we have in there will keep this bit straight through the rest of the hole. All right, well, once I got it open, it actually was pretty receptive to, uh, oh my god, there's a small amount of metal in the collar that I exactly like I could use. Uh, so it's close. It's a good tight fit, but, uh oh, uh oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's the nightmare is that, uh, the magnet gets trapped in there, uh, but not actually glued in there. So it just like sits there and you can't get it out with any other magnets until like, it gets hot and things shrink or, or get expanded or it gets really cold and the metal shrinks and yada yada. Alrighty, let's see how, how it looks. I did cut my finger. Just a little bit. Stupid drill bits. Okay. I think it's going in. I think the error is I'm just gonna scrape a little bit. I think I just don't got all the dust out here so it's not seeding. Alright. Okay, I mean, that could probably... Closer to going in. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't need more. Just like, mess my hands up. Let's go. Let's go. And then once I get this done, I will do the mini pinning. Actually, I'm gonna prime like one or two things. <laughs> And then do the mini pinning. It is like so close to being in. You know, only one of these magnets has to be this type, right? Right? I could just use a thinner version of this. As long as one of the two magnets are the bigger ones. Actually, I could probably use these ones. These, these fit pretty well. There's no way they're wider. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 come out, thank you. Yeah, that will work. Um, cool. Do one more blow, get the super glue. Try not to eat the super glue. Mission failed, you always eat the super glue. Oh god, oh jeez, oh, it's gonna leak forever now. Oh. Oh, Christ. Oh my god, it's everywhere. The worst part about cleaning up super glue is if it soaks through anything that you're using, it just immediately covers you, and then you're stuck to whatever dirty thing is there. Okay. Alright. I think it's contained. Remove the excess? Okay. Remove the 
in and then really just try to lay it in there like really really just really just try to beat it beat it up make it like regret life um what i really like to do is i wish i had any pliers or anything so we're gonna do the risky thing here give it a bite Risky for two reasons. One, we don't want to damage the model's head with our teeth. Part two, I just said this was covered in super glue and not to eat it. And immediately I'm putting it in my mouth because I'm a child. All right, so that's in there. It's not fully, fully seated, but that's fine. It's seated enough. And now, I'll seat the other side. I'm gonna make an educated guess at the middle spot right here. Oh, didn't like that. That was too close. That was too close to just slapping myself with that again. Um, and are you? Yeah. Okay. Just double checking that it was into the plastic, like into the into the hips. Like snow. Yay. It's a petrochemical snow day. Petrochemical snow day does sound like a like a like an eco punk band. Try it smaller magnets. Ah, that's a lie. I wish I had pin vices that, uh, oh no. That is definitely off center. Actually. It's the gracious overhang from the hips. That's actually fine. Okay, cool. There's probably a better way to do this, like, uh, going in pretty far and then getting a point anything pointy like a nail and then putting them back together in a way that you think looks good and then the the nail will have been driven into the other side it'll have that as like a reference mark um but i'm trying to get these done nobody's paying me for these And now time to big drill. Does it taste bad? Not that I would know. You know, it's just the, just the dust is in the air. I, I can I just taste the dust in the air. All right. So the next part of the trick is to so you get the alignment of the magnets correctly. You just throw them on the stack on the thing that's in there, and see how it goes. All right, so getting close. So it's like fitting in there. There's not a lot of room. Please come out. Cool. Also, the fun part of mag magnets is you never know where they went. I was lucky there and counted them and they were there, but that one could have flipped off in the nowhere and I just would have had no recourse to find it or anything. You just have to wave around other magnets until it picks it up. Um. How I have found magnets in the past, and maybe like the worst way, is when you're like filing anything metal, and you get a bunch of metal shavings like on the ground, and then you go to sweep them up, and then there's just a ball of metal. 
of like metal shavings and splinters. And then you gotta pick that up and try to get your magnet out. Oh, sometimes I just throw the magnet out, it ain't worth it at that point. I don't want the magnet that bad. I think I should make a cell sword of that. Hoodlace is one of those things, like, I want a new one, but, like, I don't use it enough to make, like, I use it just enough to make me wish I had one that was better. But not enough that it's, like, a priority. Well, I did that thing. I definitely did that thing where I just pressed it in way too far. Come on. Come on, I know you're not stuck in there. Alright, let me get a big magnet. In series. Oh, it's limited by the little magnet's power here. Okay. Oh no. I did it again! How does this happen? I'm turning it to the right! Everything is going to the right! Righty tighty lefty loosey! What is happening here? What is happening? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Why did my thing keep disassembling itself? No, oh, that time my hands got covered in green wood oil. The delicious smell and taste of green one oil. <coughs> now we're just gonna we're just gonna take the one eighth inch and just just give it a little more a little more room. Oh, oh, look at that! See, it's doing that thing that I was talking about where it actually like picks it up like a chisel. Focus. There we go. The law of left. <laughs> That's to get out of someplace safely. I'm trying to get in there. That's the roll. No, there, that is the roll left too. Never go to the right. Right's a mistake. Right's a fake direction. It's a lie. Man, I bet it was just the wrong side. I, I bet these. Yeah, now this hole's great, amazingly oversized. Oh, I hate everything. Ah, you know what? If I glue it in there, and when I prime it and everything, it'll just be in there, and nobody will see the bottom half. Now, how to get any more glue out without just fucking jeezing it everywhere. Um. Alright. I think I got it. It's, it's still going to do that thing where it, do, it just sprays everywhere, but... Okay. That's the new super glue. I have a new one upstairs, but I'm like, no, the stuff downstairs is fine. I was a fool. It's a fool. Alright, so now this is going to go in here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it didn't stay down there. I want it to stay down there. Except for the problem, like, this one's such a long string. Uh, magnets, and I don't want those other magnets to get glued down there. It's, it's almost set. Alright, let's count backwards from 30. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's a catastrophe. That's a catastrophe right there. 
Let's let's get you out. Top magnet. Okay. Woo. I was able to flip top magnet out, and hopefully that those aren't glued. So now these are these magnets are not going to touch. And I'm just going to hit this with a little bit more of the the forsaken glue that just won't stop spewing, just to help fill any gaps there. And I can sand that down if I need to. Probably will. And let these dry. All right. And now, now the next part is uh, my least favorite. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go prime some stuff. So I'm priming stuff for the campaign. I'm trying to remember the list off the top of my head. I think it includes hovercrafts that I don't have printed. Arm carrier. I can't look at my phone. Um, does include the hunchback. Can't prime that yet. Mm. All right. We're gonna do one of the tanks. That are, oh my god, they're covered. Absolutely, just covered in dust. Prime a tank. And I want to do the Vindicator, but I want to, I want to wait now. I want to get a better pin vise and not have this whole snafu. Um, I feel like the scale is off though. Or maybe, maybe it's just me. Because I feel like I printed it, and it is similar in height to the awesome. And I feel like the awesome should be a bit bigger than it. But I don't know. I realize you can't see that. Um, yeah. So, they're about similar. Even though a Vindicator is almost half the weight of that. But, um, and I don't want to prime the individual Vindicator parts. Um, yeah, how about we do one of the helicopters? So, I have one set of rotors. Did I have two set of rotors? Like I said, I should have done any organizing before this stream. Uh, you are, I believe this one, eh, you're, you're for this one, and do you also go to this one? No, you go to this one, and do you go home? No, you're much too thick. You think I would also like labeled it better? Joke's on me. So I am going to file this or sand this a little bit, just so that the um, or file it. Hmm. Maybe I would have to like look up to see like I them being similar in height doesn't surprise me but it just looks like the width looks weird but it everything is a little bit wild when it comes to 3d printing you really are kind of just like uh flying by the seat of your pants or figuring out how much a millimeter is why can't they use freedom units don't understand this metric nonsense i'm not french I know everything's divisible by 10. That's the hard part. I don't want to divide by 10. Tried cutting it into eights. I was just thinking maybe I'm being a bit gung ho with all this, uh, like shaping of miniatures, just because I printed them. I was like, oh, I could just print more, and then I think to what I did the previous miniatures, and no, that's just me, like Sid from Toy Story. That man, well, that man was a, um, it's probably on the list as an adult. 
Like Sid probably didn't get a happy oh, these are backwards. Sid probably didn't get a happy ending. Okay. These are so fragile. Oh my my. Oh me, oh my. These are gonna explode one day. Alright, so. You know what, maybe I'll prime the the, the, the Q Wang here just, just, just for digs, even though I don't really like its sculpt right here. Yeah, the anti alias me, I think, really messed with his face. Uh, yeah. But, only so much I can do. Alright, I'm gonna take a, four minutes to go prime these minis, and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, and I only uh, inhaled a lot of fumes. <sighs> but it's fine. Uh, but that, I think, will cut short my night a little bit. Because I thought I, I have a different room uh, in my basement that I was doing it in. But uh, I'm not so sleeping in. But that's fine. I have enough time, I think, to go over um, the kind of things I want to hit. And the next stream, I'll probably do an actual painting stream. So, got these guys primed. They don't look much different, but uh, they look a bit better. Uh, especially this guy with the primer. Oh, I didn't get any primers out of his hands. Oh, no. Wait, no, I did. Primer is one of those things. You don't need a lot of it. It's not... Unless you need it to be, it's not a base coat. These guys are going to get painted deep red, so that's going to be their base coat. So, like... There you go. Oh, my God. Of course it fell in between. Oh, I hope it didn't break when it hit the ground. Oh, just my luck. All right, so... um, We're going to clean these feet. A little bit. Oh. If I clean them, I meant uh, lick them, and then I realized all the stuff that was on the bottom of them, and I gagged. That's a yucky. That's a dumb thing to do. Um, but this is going to get put onto a base like this. We don't need to do the top here. So, we're going to go point to point, just so its center is like there. Cool. We're going to get some glue, some of the forever spurting glue. What a curse magical item. Forever spurting glue. Uh I'll just give it a nice, nice, nice thin old thin old bit there. And there's activators for super glue, I just don't have them because I never wanted to be that quick. Cause I'll realize that I made a mistake. At least the very small setup time that glue has that super glue has uh protects me making very vital mistakes so i had a little bit of skid there which isn't great but that's fine should still be able to be seen and all right well i kind of kind of putts the placement but it's fine it's close enough you see that there's one corner one face that's like right there but like you saw it you probably assume that this is the front right right it's okay you can turn a little bit so I'm just putting enough finisher, and you can actually see where the glue is. Yeah, it's like it's not even worth polishing because if I polish it, I'll scratch it. I should have been more careful. Um, let me see if I can get a little more dab just under there, just to really, really cement it in there on underneath the feet here. Relying on a capillary action here, try to suck some glue up on there. this is this is like step one but step two is not so pretty I'm just gonna tap that a little bit just get down and um, step two will be pitting um, we'll use the paper clip here the paper clip that I have here clip it off and Slap it in there with a little bit more glue, and it'll be a tight fit. I'll use the smallest bit I got, and bam, bam, boop, it'll be pinned forever. And I have one that's actually not pinned, and it's been holding up just fine, even with drops. The, the pins are kind of overkill, but it's, you know, I, these are paper clips. You know, they're not free, but they're very cheap, and it's a little bit of insurance. So, um, yeah, we'll get to that, and we'll actually get the painting, uh, which is good. I do think I want to brave. Oh, is this dry? I don't touch it. No, it's no, nope, nope, that was a mistake. It's not dry. Um, brave the priming room to finish priming the rest of the hunchback. I got the top of it. Um, but start painting these their correct colors. I don't mind the magnets for the vehicles so much because I don't really need to worry about facing rules in general. I just need to make sure that they're the right colors and base and all that and make sure there's just enough primer to make paint stick. Because that's all primer does. It makes paint stick. That's its point. Then, I mean, I guess if you want to put it on thick enough, you can have a big base coat. But, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, this is my first time painting getting back into the game after maybe five or six years of 40K. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't think it's terrible. I'd definitely paint it worse. See, part of it is I don't like to have actual light on the mini because the ring light is not actually around the thing. And I could probably putz around with it to figure it out, but that's that's for next stream. Where I actually do painting. But yeah, this is an awesome. Uh, it usually has two or three PPCs, depending on the variety. Uh, or you can get the poverty refits, and I think the poverty refits are very entertaining. Um, Battletech is a fun game, um, and the player base and kind of creation sphere, sphere for it seemed really um, open to taking 40G re 40k refugees without being like, oh, your game's so bad. And it's like, yeah, 40k, you know. I stopped playing for a reason, but, you know, especially the people that play it, they're not bad or anything. Um... Not every fandom is great. Um, and also I got water side transfers. These are World War II ones. Like, um, Can we focus, please? Is it the light? Is it because the light's bad? I understand the light's bad. There we go. It's a, it's a Pegasus. And uh, water side transfers are pretty easy. I have a couple. And my buddy gave me some uh, that actually have uh, uh, factions for Battletech. So that'll go on some of my guys. Not, not the ones that I'm making new for the campaign, because... They're not Capellans. Um, but he gave me some Capellans stuff because I play Capellans because who doesn't love to be the bad guy? Although, if you think Capellans are like the ultimate bad guy, you just you need to learn more about the Dracon Combine. There, there, those are, that's who you should worry about. Uh, but I think that'll be it for me tonight as I get overtaken by these uh, primer fumes from doing this in the basement because that was stupid. Uh, thanks for coming by. I'll put up a schedule... By the end of the week, I'm probably not going to stream again this week. Um, got a lot of stuff going on. Um, maybe not even this weekend. Probably at least one stream next week, maybe two. So I'm just shaking paint. Um, yeah, you didn't get to see all the paint that I brought out. Watch this made my camera fall. I was having issues with it earlier. Oh, my whole paint stuff. It's all there. Um. Uh, I will get a schedule together, do a paint stream, and then um, if I don't schedule time for that spice rack, I'm not going to do it. So, it'll be more spice racketing. Um, I realize the video part of this is, like, empty, and that kind of bothers me. So, when I get some time, I want to make a, not shorts, but short videos about me making mistakes. And then eventually I'll have a, uh, obviously hurt myself super cut. Because, um... Just a silly person who can't keep, can't stop hurting themselves. But uh, once again, thank you for joining me. I've been Mucker Wall from Dad's Old Shop, and uh, I'll see you around. And hopefully, this inspires you to get together and do a project, finish up something that you've been wanting to get off your to-do list. I mean, that's why I do this. Take it easy. Have a good night.